Desiree has decided to carve his own bowls. He selected his rosewood tree, a magnificent old tree, 150 years old. Cutting down a tree, even one as regal as Desiree's rosewood, is not a wound inflicted on the forest. Felling the tree opens up a window, bringing in light. Younger trees can then thrive in its place. Desiree will use the entire fallen tree. He will carve a series of progressively smaller bowls from the trunk. Covers, honey pots, statuettes. The scraps will be used as planks for chests. Solo is now trying to use the wood chisel. The bowl is taking shape. It takes three weeks for a single man working from night till morning in rain or dry weather to carve a good sized bowl. Living in the forest with just a sloping roof of branches and leaves as shelter is hard for everyone. Insects and leeches torment the men who are feverish. Solo's doing well. The boy's gifted with a good hand. Carving bowls demands a great deal of rigor. It requires strong self-control. One wrong move would leave an indelible mark that would considerably lower the value of this magnificent piece. A new section of the mountain around Kitodo has been cleared. The villagers burn before planting. The Hatsak, in other words, slash and burn farming, saddens Dadamunji. But he doesn't get angry. In the past, Dadamunji used to burn his fields just like everyone else. start planting corn almost before the ground cools off. The first harvest on such a steep slope will be good, then running water carries off the soil and another patch of the mountain becomes sterile. continues to provide wood to construct the house. The carpet 
hunters assemble a section of wall on the ground. A window frame that fits perfectly into the wood structure. As the friendly old spirit of Kitodo Dadamunji keeps an eye on the project. All the outside surfaces of the wood are carved. Rakutu teaches Jean about the structure of the patterns so that the design will be coherent. The meaning must be immediately clear. Night comes early in the forest. The evenings are long. Anxious to return home, Jean-Marie and his sons work by the light of the fire and only rarely by candlelight because of the cost. It's always the same meal in the camp. Rice seasoned with pepper. The water comes from the stream. Before, the rosewood trees were near the village. The work wasn't hard then. Now that I have children, we have to go farther to find rosewood trees. I'm teaching Solo how to work with the rosewood. But in the future, if we're going to still carve bowls, I might have to think about using other trees in the same family as rosewood. Trees that are as hard.